Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Tonight, I guess. Good? Yeah. Are you all snuggled up nicely in your jammies ready for bed? Hope so. All right. I'm really glad to see everybody here tonight for our evening story time. My name is Jenny and I'm a youth services librarian at Surrey Libraries. And as always, I'm joined with my, by my friend Winston. Winston is a big fan of story time, but he's also a really big fan of snooping. Most cats are. So he's quite happy that this is a bedtime story time, aren't you, Winston? <laughs> now, even though it's bedtime, Winston, I think you should still say hello to everybody who's watching. Do you think you can do that? Okay, go ahead, Winston. Meow. Good job. And maybe give them a wave. Perfect. Now, everybody out there, do you want to say hello back to Winston? Yeah? Okay. On the count of three, you're gonna say hello and maybe give him a wave, okay? One, two, three. Good job, I heard you. Winston, did you hear them? Okay, now Winston's gonna sit here in his basket where he can watch everything we're doing and hopefully he'll stay awake for the entire program, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna start with our hello rhyme. So let's get our hands ready. Ready? Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle your shoulders and wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers and wave hello. Good job. Hello, everybody. Now, have you ever gone to bed and you just couldn't fall asleep? no matter how hard you tried, and maybe one of your adults told you to count a certain animal to fall asleep. Has that ever happened to you? What animal could it be that they told you to count? Was it a sheep? Yeah? Well, I happen to have a sheep here. Who can tell me what color that sheep is? He's black, yeah. And does anybody know a rhyme about a black sheep? Yeah, you gonna help me sing it? Perfect. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three beds full. One for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Excellent, now my sheep has some friends. What color is this? friend sheep. White, yeah. Shall we sing about him too? I think so. Ba ba white sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Excellent. Now black and white are both Normal sheep colors. Our next sheep, he's a pretty funny colored sheep. He matches my PJs, what color is he? Yeah, he's a blue sheep. Look at him there. All right, let's sing about him. Ready? Ba ba blue sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Perfect. Our next sheep is also a funny color, but he probably blends in really well with the grass. What color do you think that could be? Yeah, he's green. Perfect. All right, let's go. Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right, we're ready for another sheep. This one is purple. Oh my goodness. Ba ba purple sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. 
One for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Good job. Now our last sheep is my favorite color. Anybody guess what that is? Did anybody say yellow? Yeah, yellow is my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Is it one of these ones we have here? Or maybe red or purple or pink. There's lots of great colors out there. All right, let's do one last verse with my yellow sheep. Ba ba yellow sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the shit lane. All right. Now, before we can take these guys down, we have to count them because we we're supposed to be counting sheep to help us fall asleep, right? So let's count them as we take them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, six sheep. Good job with the counting and the singing and the colors. That was a lot of thinking to do just before bed. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. This story is called Good Night Moon. And the words are by Margaret Wise Brown. The pictures are by Clement Hurd, and it is published by Harper Collins. Now, I'm just gonna have to move Winston out of the way a little bit so he doesn't get hit, but I'll put him back up as soon as I'm finished the story. He can still see me from down there. Good night, moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse. Can anybody find the mouse on that page? Yeah, right there, good job, good spotting. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush, and a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow, jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears and good night, chairs. Good night, kittens, and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks, and good night, socks. Good night, little house, and good night, mouse. There he is, teeny tiny little mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody, and good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars, good night, air. Good night noises everywhere. All right, can you see all of those stars in the window? There's lots there, aren't there? Some nights when it's dark, we can see lots of stars in our sky too. And when I was little, my parents, when we were outside, used to have us look, and we'd look for the very first star that we could see. And then there was a special rhyme. We'd make a wish on the star and we'd do a special rhyme for the star. And I'm gonna teach that rhyme to you. If you know it, you can say it along with me. 
If you don't know it, that's okay because we'll repeat it and so you can do it the second time. Okay, you ready? Star light, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish, I wish tonight. Okay, did you get that? Should we try it again? Yeah, if you remember it, say it along with me. You ready? Star light, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish, I wish tonight. All right, so if you go outside when it's dark, and if you see the first star, you can say that rhyme and make your wish. You can say it if you see any star, really. It doesn't have to be the first one. Okay. It's time for our goodbye rhyme. Now, let's do some movement here and let's get all of those last wiggles out before it's time to curl up and go to sleep. You ready? Got your hands ready to start with? Wave high, wave low. I think it's time, we've gotta go. Wave your elbows and wave your toes. Wave your tongue and wave your nose. Wave your knees and wave your lips. Wave your ears and wave your hair. Wave your chin and wave your eye and wave your hand and say goodbye. Goodbye and good night, everybody. And Winston would like to say good night too. Ready, Winston? Give everybody a wave goodbye. Goodbye and good night, everybody. It was nice having story time with us. You can join us every night at seven o'clock for a story time. We'll see you tomorrow.